Happy Friday. Happy um February the 16th, everybody. So I got on here. I was talking about this to somebody. I got on here talking about body shame. A lot of people go get BBLs and they still get body shame. A lot of people got their natural bodies and they still get body shame. And I'm trying to figure out why would you want to body shame somebody? It's it's not it's not cool and it's not natural. So I I I was I was basically really really trying to figure that out that people get body shame for no reason. You know, uh, I guess I want to say I'm cool with you talking about my body, you know, uh, saying how good I look, but I'm not cool with you talking about how bad I look. Because in reality, I know how my body look. I know my body look good. But people don't people don't understand it. People people talk about you whether you fat. People talk about you whether you small. People talk about you whether you get a BBL. People just talk about you. I also want to add in here um, reacting to Carmen. Carmen did a video about some uh, with, with her little sister and her little sister asked about Mishi. And Michi was saying it wasn't so much as the video, it was so much how Carmen kept laughing. But Carmen said she took that video down in the spite of respect for Michi. Because she said Michi holds a little special place in her heart. And I feel her on that. I feel her on that because. That's 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 what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. And she was sitting there saying she don't know what the universe holds. She said uh the people want her to jump out of another relationship into the relationship with Michi, but she said she can't do that. And which you got to uh, understand and you got to respect what she's saying. You know, she's actually saying, okay, I can't jump out. Can't, I just left one relationship, which I was married, and then jump into the relationship with Michi. And to be honest, when Corey finds out that she's in a relationship with somebody else or in a relationship with Michi, Corey goes haywire. Corey goes haywire to the fact that he loves to drag her. It don't matter what she do, he loves to drag her. She could not say nothing. She could not do nothing. And, he, and, and like she said, he loves to drag her. Which I think is cool because a woman could be break up with a man for like 20 years, 50 years, and they'll still drag them. But I, I always wonder, what do... a man get out dragging a woman? What I mean, what do you get out of that? Because I feel like you really don't get nothing out of it. I feel like you just 
you doing stuff just to be doing stuff. Because you really don't, you really don't get nothing out of it. You feel like if Kwame won today meet you, Kwame is beyond well today him. Uh, Carmen manager, I think it was Neil, said that Carmen's still married and she don't agree with it. That's why, you know, but she said Carmen has moved on. But if you look at it, the same thing, I mean, Corey is doing it. Corey has took Carmen Page, gave it to that lookalike Jennifer, and gave her 2.4 million views. And I, all that work was the work of Carmen. That work wasn't the work of uh, Corey. And Corey looking damn dumb right now. He looking dumb. Everybody expects that Corey is running out of money. That's what everybody expects. I don't know. I can't say that Corey is running out of money. The only thing I can say is... I would never drag. I wouldn't. I would never drag my uh my wife, the kids of my mother, the kids. I mean my the ki uh the mother of my kids. No, I would. I would never do that. But it's a lot going on in this world. It's a lot. It's a lot. People just doing a lot, you know. Um, I don't know. I try every day of my life to figure out I mean, if, if I were dating women, dating women, I don't think I would opt with a drag on a uh, baby mama. You don't think you could? No, I don't think I could. I think I could. And then the 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 respectful thing is Carmen don't say nothing. She hasn't been saying it. it. It was just one time that she said something, and that was when she spoke up about him saying that she wasn't a good mother, and she was. Uh, not feeding her kids. So, I, I don't know. I don't know. It just seemed like to me, people want to insert their Carmen's a bad mother. And everybody that's, that's around her saying that 
Carmen is a good mother because Carmen had did an interview and CJ was with her and I just seen CJ belly. It don't look like in no form or fashion that CJ is starving. It don't look like that for nothing. It just looked like he's a little boy. And then he loved playing on his tablet. He loved, you know, he loved the snacks. And that's what kids do because I remember when my well, my nieces and nephew do. My niece, you know, she does that now. She want to eat snacks all day, every day. And like Corey, uh, Corey is is wrong for what he do, and I think Carmen is right. You know, you try to be say you a father, and you been in your kids' li uh, life ever since they was born. That don't make you a father. You don't even know uh your kids' clothes size. You don't even know Caden's diaper size. Now, when a mother says that, she's saying. Enough is enough. That's what she's saying. Enough is enough. You know, it's enough that you keep dragging my name and I'm tired. So, I mean, you can't, you can't really, you can't really get mad at, at, at Carmen for seeing or doing what she, what she do. But people think she wrong. But I don't think she wrong. I think she's a good mother, and I think that she she have a right to be happy. All right, y'all. I'm going to close this out.